Hello. Long time. Um, obviously, you're probably wondering, is this the contest results? No, it's not. Um, the contest results will be... Uh, more, they'll be soon. Um, but today, I'm going to review the Little Atlantis playing cards. Um, before you question, and go, where have you been? Check out where I've been in the video. Um, I'll leave that link in the description below, or we'll just go back on the channel and have a look. So yes, I have been quite busy, and today I'll be reviewing and getting back into it. Should be a review every two to three days, um, and then obviously as I progress and I get used to running the company, I will then do more. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Little Atlantis playing cards, um, and yeah, I look forward to it. I think it looks like a lovely deck, and um, let's go on with the review. Okay, so let's go on with the tuck case. So as you can see, it has the beautiful like Atlanta kind of style, sea style, ace of spades, with the nice water droplets there in like a, like a mountain kind of shape. It has little Atlantis playing cards with a nice border going around the edge with like a black stroke to the whole of it, the whole black box is black. On the side it has Gambler's Warehouse and on the other side as well it has, uh, it actually has um, embossed finish designed in the USA and it has some information on the bottom there which if you want to have a look at you can if you like. There you go, and I'll read it out for you anyway. It's designed by Yellow Dice, um, and you can go check them out at behance.net slash yellow dice, distributed by Gambler's Warehouse, and um, yeah, Dallas, Texas, so that's quite cool. The back design looks really, really cool. It has a black border on the actual tuck case, a yellow border inside, and it's really cool to design with like the kind of the clam with the um, the kind of uh, well, the pearl inside. If you're wondering what happened to the tuck case, I opened it completely wrong. Um, so yes, that's why I've accidentally ripped it. But that's what happens. Then you have the bar, um, not the barcode. You have the sticker seal that has little. Atlanta, and when you open it up, it has a really cool pattern. I'm just gonna take these cards out first, but it has a really cool pattern inside that goes on throughout. Then you have uh, two ace pips just there on the tabs. Now it's been a long time since I reviewed a deck, so as you can tell, this has been quite a long time since I've even reviewed a deck that was fully black. So on the back it's black, and on the front all the faces are black. And the reason the last time I kind of reviewed one was like the Black Tiger, which was great, but I don't I don't know if black pips because thing is with black is when you have it on printed on card, um, it can chip quite easily because the card is originally white. So when it's white, it doesn't make a difference. But to be honest with you, it's a nice deck, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, let's have a look at some of the cards that you receive. So, first off, you receive two Jokers that say Little Atlantis, Little Atlantis, and it has Joker, Joker. They're the same, just one's blue and one is orange, and they are just Finding Nemo type of fish. Then we'll move on to the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is really, really cool. The same Ace we saw on the tuck case, but it has the blue pips. Now, as you can probably gather, it's um, like the tattoo deck, where the colours actually change in the suits. So as you can see, these are the pips for the spades. They're sideways, which is different, but they look like fish, which is really, really cool. As you can see, the little fish kind of little eye to make the spades, as you can see. Then you get the actual uh, royalty, the Jack Queen King. They look really, really cool. I like that they've, you know, obviously used fish because obviously it's the style of deck, but I feel like the way that they're colorizing as well. Then you get the ace um, of hearts. You can see it's a heart. Um, obviously, it would be nice a bit more rounder so you can tell it's a heart, but obviously, you know, we're not all stupid, we can tell. And then it goes the whole way through with little tiny heart fishes, as you can tell. Really, really cool. Then you get the royalty for the hearts. You get the jack, the queen, and then the king. Then you get the diamonds, this one looks more like a diamond than the heart did for a heart. And um, you can see there's a fish there as well, and it continues the whole way through with the same style, you know, same as what we've seen. And then the royalty as well, you've got the jack, the queen, and then you've got the diamond. The clubs as well, I think that looks really cool, it looks just like a fish, but obviously a club at the same time. And this continues with a blue as well, which is nice. And then you get the royalty as well, and this is a shark, like a great white. Then you have another one, a happy shark, and then another happy shark. So I like that the fishes are different depending on the suit. Now the back design has a really nice white thin, oh sorry, a nice black border with a yellow border going round in the inside with the design there. It's a really cool design and a mirror design. And you can see it has little Atlantis, the little circle there, the clam with the pearl, and the really nice yellow border. So let's have a look at the handling. 
Okay, so let's look at the handling. So this deck handles like a dream. Quite a nice hard style stock. So it's quite thin, quite thick, um, kind of in the middle. And this, to be honest, as I know it's not printed by the USPCC, but the other version was, and it was a bicycle branded one. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't just print both at bicycle. Um, I prefer bicycle, to be honest with you, but obviously that's not my call to make, but that's just my honest opinion. But other than that, it looks great. I love it, the way it handles, the way, as you can see, it fans. The border really works quite well with this. And then we do a giant fan. Giant fan, that was literally so easy to get in, and you can see the giant fan looks absolutely amazing. Really big fan of the giant fan. And other than that, it's a really beautiful deck of cards. You can't moan, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Looks great, handles well, and all around, it's a very nice deck of cards. So I'd recommend if you do have time to uh, pick one of these up, and I'll see if I can find a link in the description below. I picked one of these off JP Games Limited, uh, which is obviously in the UK, and I know they ship worldwide, but I'll see if I can find a cheaper link. I got these when they were like super cheap, like a pound, um, when he does his clearances. So yeah, kind of I kind of brought two of them just so I could review one and keep one sealed. So this is the actual deck. And also I wanted to find out is if any of you have seen the Dan and Dave kind of their little kind of storage place where they put their cards. Does anyone know what the name of that is? Because I want to see if I can buy one for myself, because just so I can really. But let me know what you think of this deck. Comment down below, and I'll see you in a few days with a new review. If you guys would like to know, on the 6th of um, next month, uh, April, we oh, yeah, April, we will have... Let me make sure I've got the date, actually. So the date will be, yeah, April. 16th of April, me and Andrew or Carl Freak will be doing a live stream um, and you can go look at the details for when that is on my banner which will be coming soon but if you want to know in the UK time it will be 9pm we'll be doing the live stream on the 6th. So yeah, hopefully we'll see you there and um, it's just everyone can come, it's just going to be on YouTube and comment and we just kind of like the good old times because me and Andrew have got quite busy with work and life and we want to get back to the old style so Andrew's come back so make sure you go check him out um, and I'll leave his link in the description below. So if any questions give me a shout and I'll make sure I try and get back to them. Other than that have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one and check out the previous video which will allow you to watch that.